My fellow YouTubians, how are we all doing today? I have brought you a match here on a lovely silver platter. It is a Rain Room team game against someone by the name of Mr. Jamvad. And uh, looking at his team, it seems that uh, none of his pokes would be able to survive Clam Pearl's Wrath. So that's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to set up the Trick Room uh, on the appropriate Pokemon and get Rayonicus and Clam Pearl to do the work in the uh, in the mid game. So kind of my plan from the off, and uh, that's what I'm going to roll with. So I'm lead off with Politone. Obviously, he doesn't have any rain or any sand or sun or whatever he has no weather on his side which is why getting up the weather on my end is probably the best thing for me to do now this is my specs polytoad and i could have potentially fired off a, a specs hidden power electric but i wasn't too secure in it to hit KOing or even doing anywhere near enough to the tentacle just because tentacle is really specially defensive uh, but i also didn't want him switching into magna zone setting up a sub and just putting me in an awkward position so i decided to go straight to wobbuffet which uh, allows me a window here to encore him he does have two layers of toxic spikes up, but now that I have encored him into it, it does give me the free window in which to set up the trick room. So I'm going to go straight to Mesprit, and uh, he's obviously locked in now, and he had to stay in because of Wobbuffet. So it gives me a window here, go for trick room, and then after that, hopefully you turn into Clam Pearl and do as much damage as I can. So I go for the trick room, and I should, in this scenario, be going second, because I have the lagging tail. And lagging tail means that even in trick room, uh, even though I'm slower, I should go after the thing which uh, I'm opposing. Uh, for some reason though, Magnazone is really, really slow and even a lagging tail doesn't allow me to go second, which is weird, I didn't really understand that, um, but apparently he is, and it basically means that I have to go to Reuniclus, because I didn't want to switch Clampel in on the potential of a Thunderbolt, which is really frustrating, because in all honesty, this Reuniclus can't deal with Magnazone too well, all my moves are resisted by it, simply because I'm not carrying Focus Blast, which I really should do, but then again, you know, Focus Blast has that tendency to miss, and in any case, it doesn't make too big of a difference, because I am able to break his sub with Thunder, which does tell me that that a Psychic will also be able to break his sub. So I am going to switch up moves here to Psychic. Uh, I guess Thunder works as well, but Psychic's nice for special defense drops and things uh, as opposed to uh, stuff that's not good like that and things. Now I'm not making sense because I'm just losing my trains of thought. But he does switch into Tentacruel and Life Orb Psychic is actually not going to kill him. I'm pretty surprised that he lived uh, just because it's Stab, it's Life Orb is coming off all that special attack from Marinoclus and it's super effective. So uh, slightly uh, confused as to why it didn't KO but um, Tentacruel is bulky as hell so I guess it makes sense that he would live. But he's not going to live a second one. I am going to be able to outspeed simply because of Trick Room and I go for the Thunder because if Magnus Zone did want to switch in, I would want Magnazone to be paralyzed on that turn, so that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, and now he brings in Gengar. Gengar with the substituting in my face, I don't like it, but what he really should have done is just gone for the Shadow Ball. I, I don't know why he set up the sub there, perhaps he was, perhaps, perhaps he was predicting me to switch there, um, but I don't really understand his rationale behind doing so, because all it means is that I now get up the free trick room, not only being able to break his sub, but also now having Clam Pearl fresh to bring out onto the field and uh, to just use those turns of Trick Room to my advantage at this point, really. I can just hammer the win button being Surf and I should be able to clean out a lot of guys if I, uh, if I predict correctly and I'm able to uh, just, you know, live uh, and not die to stupid moves like priority and crap. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Bring Clam Pearl in, which in the Trick Room means it is now the fastest player on the pitch and... Uh, uh, you know Swampert's bulky, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't quite have enough bulk, I'm afraid, to live a rain-boosted uh, surf from a clam pearl because that's a one-shot, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, that's a dead Swampert. And that's probably why Swampert is no longer OU because, you know, clam pearl is on the prowl, man. Clam pearl doesn't fuck around. Surfs all the things uh, until they die. Now, uh, the one problem here is that he brings in Hydreigon and I am duped because I'm a moron. I'm duped to go for the Ice Beam. I should have just gone for the Surf because that switch was really obvious. He is just burning Trick Room turns at this point. He knows that clam pearl is going to be useless after the Trick Room runs out, which means that he has every right to switch up moves and to switch things in and out uh, to resist my hits. But um, I really should have just gone for the Surf there. What Surf would have allowed me to do is to get a second or third, I mean a third kill, because I killed Swamp, I've killed Magnazone. Now Trick Room's going to run out, I'm not going to be able to get that third kill, which I pretty much would have guaranteed myself if I had been able to uh, go for the, uh, the Surf straight away, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. But it doesn't matter. 
Gengar's going to come in, ruin my day with a Shadow Ball, and hey, that's what's going to happen. Nothing I can do about it, really. So, uh, I do have a few things left on the team, uh, and at this point, my Trick Room guys are pretty much run out, so I'm going to be relying on speed at this point. And my speediest guy, uh, in fact, a lot of uh, things on his team are not going to be able to outspeed this guy, is Floatzel. So, I'm going to go to Floatzel, and I'm going to go for the Waterfall, which I am very confused as to why he switched Terrakion in on a Floatzel. But hey, each to their own, I guess. I, I really don't understand because Hydreigon makes perfect sense switching into Floatzel. It can take the waterfall with ease uh, and yet he decides to go to Terrakion. Not my prerogative, it's all his, but hey that's, that's what you do sometimes. So at this point I believe he's going to go to um, Hydreigon. I guess he was predicting me to predict the Hydreigon and go for the Ice Attack which I actually don't carry an Ice Attack on that Floatzel. I think I might have Ice Fang, but I'm not too sure. I, I really can't remember what I do have, but hey, whatever. I'm going to go to Mesprit, uh, I guess, kind of just to die at this point. I'm not really too bothered about it. My main game plan, really, is to go to Wobbuffet and go for the Mirror Coat. Now, don't hate me yet, because I know Mirror Coat doesn't affect Hydreigon, um, but I was under the impression that Psychic... Mirror coat typing wouldn't matter in this scenario, but it's ex it's exactly like what happens with counter. Uh, you can't counter a ghost type. Uh, you cannot mirror coat uh, a hydragon because it is a dark type. Now, uh, at the point of recording this, uh, and when I was battling, I was really fucking pissed because you can see he gets two crits in a row. Now, you know it didn't matter in the end because of course I couldn't do anything to him because mirror coat wouldn't have affected him. But it kind of rubbed salt into the wound, and I didn't really appreciate it to be perfectly honest. So, uh, it happens sometimes, hey, what are you going to do about it? Uh, whatever. But, I do have floats left, and he predicts the ice move again, it goes into his Gengar, but uh, I believe, I'm, I'm just not going for the ice move, because I just have Waterfall, and I have some other move on the set that isn't Ice Fang or Ice Punch, I don't even know why, I think I have Brick Break and Crunch, as opposed to either ice moves, I should really fix that, but it doesn't make too big of a difference, because Waterfall does clean out Gengar, and now that he brings Hydreigon in, I'm hoping to get a little bit of luck on my end, seeing as he did back-to-back -back crit me, you know, not that it mattered too much, but he did back-to-back -back crit me, so I actually am I'm fortunate enough to get a Draco Meteor miss, which is great. Um, the uh, the only bad thing about that, of course, is that if he uh, if he doesn't if he did hit, I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying. There's no bad thing about it. He missed. Fuck, just deal with it. I don't give a crap. The good thing is that I bring him all the way down. He doesn't flinch on, unfortunately, but he does get the special attack drop, which is significant, because I only have one thing left. That is a Politoed, and because he has the minus two special attack, I am going to be able to live the Draco, which I don't think I would have lived otherwise. So that really plays into my favor. I'm able to live it, and I'm able to go for the Ice Beam and finish the Hydreigon off, leaving me, I guess, with the 1-0. I'm Pretty sure that was a one-o, very, very narrow uh, escape, I guess. Um, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Cutting it close to the wire, and uh, that is going to be the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I love using Rain Room from time to time. It does catch people off guard. They're kind of confused when a Clam Pearl one-shots a Swampert. Things like that do happen from time to time in this crazy game we call Pokemon. So um, in any way, that's going to be pretty much all I'm going to say. If you want to leave a like, that would be fantastic. You can uh, hit the button. Help me out immensely. Otherwise, you can check out all my uh, social links at the Fuckabook and the Twitter and the Tumblr down below. All in the description. Indeed, I haven't said that in a while. So, there. F for those people who like me saying that, there you go. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.